this time, I would like to welcome Soxie High School's Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Cynthia Lair, to the podium. Good afternoon, dear soon-to-be graduates of Soxie. Hello to the parents, guardians, teachers, and guests seated before me. I'm honored now to have the chance to offer up some wisdom, though admittedly it's tedious to do in this rhyming system. I'm no Lin-Manuel Miranda, but I can spin a rhyme or two, and today I'll use it to reiterate some advice to you. We gather here to wish these seniors all the best as they go forth, and we hope they'll proudly display all the gumption that they're worth. First, I'll ask you students to think through the years of advice from your families, you soon-to-be grads. Eat your veggies, be grateful, be nice, do your homework, get some sleep, help your siblings, help your moms and dads, wear your seatbelt, smile often, clean up once you're done, hold the door for others, do your laundry and cook, be punctual, don't speed while driving, have fun, and once in a while, do read a good book. Share when appropriate, put on some sunscreen, call your grandparents every once in a while, Sometimes remember to put down your phone because eye contact has yet to go out of style. I probably need not say more, but I'll say it. Don't do drugs. It's not worth losing your life. There are plenty of ways to have fun in this world that would not end up causing your loved ones strife. Parents have stuffed your brains with advice. We just hope upon hope that most of it sticks. Wherever it is you end up in this world, may your life be full of treats and not tricks. Remember there is no series of classes for parents to learn how to parent the best. As a parent myself, I'll admit there are times I know half what to do and I make up the rest. But you all made it here, which suggests that you had someone guiding and supporting you along the way. I hope that you've taken the time to thank them because there's no time like the present, as they say. Some of our students have lost a loved one, those who have passed ahead of their time. Death makes us pause. It helps to remind us how precious life is as life's ladder we climb. Soon it's your turn to become an adult in this world, make your contribution to society. You may one day be parents, giving advice yourself. If so, be the example, be the best you can be. I'll next ask the students to think upon their time with the Sophistry teachers who taught them in their prime. Each course brought you all closer to the life you'll build one day, but let's think through life's lessons that you, these courses brought your way. In English class, Chaucer, in his Canterbury Tales, pointed out how hypocritical anyone could be. And Shakespeare suggested that power corrupts, while parents impede love in his tragedies. But history teaches awareness and compassion bring people together when we shed arrogance. Dr. King, Winston Churchill, Gandhi, Mandela set behavioral examples of wisdom's elegance. Some took a music class, choir or orchestra, band, music theory, or rocked the guitar. Such music has the power to bring folks together, and performance skills help you wherever you are. Some took an art class and proudly displayed what they made from the depths of creativity. Creation sustains us, it helps us emote, and it displays our cultures for all to see. Most took a gym class and played lots of games to stay physically fit and to know how to win. Know that one day, metabolism slows quite a bit, so stay active and fit or find a good gym. Some took a cake course like agriculture or foods and nutrition or computer class. These offered life skills from which you could glean whether to continue to pursue such skills or to pass. In math, Sir Pythagoras dreamt of triangles, so don't be obtuse, do more right than wrong. And Einstein pieced mass and light speed together, so make sure that your energy is focused, not gone. In science, Mendeleev numbered a table, know your charge periodically out in this world. And Newton defined several laws of motion, so keep moving and let your positivity unfurl. There are certainly courses that I've yet to mention, like drama, ROTC, and others, right? But each had its nuggets of wisdom to offer, and anyways, we don't need to be here all night. What did Newton and Chaucer and Shakespeare and others have in common with someone from this century? They lived, they survived, worked through times of plague, much worse than a COVID pandemic, you see. 
They did not make light of their own situation. No complaints, no excuses, no apologies. They carried forth, made progress, kept learning, and passing on knowledge for us all to seize. Now, along the way there were some bumps from which we all did learn. Some TikTok challenges got destructive, a behavior to which we should not return. Beware of childish, rash ideas that can cause harm to others. It was proof of mass media's potential to provoke our fellow brothers, but some walked the halls of our feeder schools to show off your caps and gowns, your teachers too, to all who see you in your home or on a street in the town. You've dabbled in your courses, gleaning much to guide your way, and participated in sports and clubs to fill your day. We held a dance or two, had concerts and Disney trips, fundraisers, musicals, ceremonies, a senior picnic, your yearbooks hold memories you'll look back on one day, and superlatives, state championships, accomplishments so neat. You've watched films, typed assignments, made presentations and displays, and you think you did all that on Sophistry Street. Again, it's your turn to go out and become an adult in this world, make your contribution to society. May your lives be productive and lively and long. Make us proud, do great things, be the best you can be. Thank you.